Hello everyone, welcome to day 17 of 30 day challenge of learning Tableau from scratch. In today's video, we are going to talk about discrete and continuous. Let us get started without wasting much time. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So I'm trying to bring in date field into the view. Okay, so whenever we are working with the dates, okay, so like I always said, date part is very important. Which part of the day you are working? Like say year part, month part, quarter part and all. So when you click, I want to change the level of my dates here. Okay, so Tableau has given us some ready-made options. So if I click on this, you will see I can convert it into year quarter, month or date. But we already have here, why does tab to give the second option here? So these are our discrete and continuous dates. So discrete means generally, you know, these two are math math mathematical terms in terms of, you know, uh, take Tableau language if I talk, and this is the link where we have all the information and many get confused. And we also got many times question like, you know, what is the difference between green pill and blue pill? So generally continuous, continuous field means green. Remember discrete means blue. Okay. Discrete means blue field. Continuous means green. So continuous means what forming an unbroken whole continuous means you can uh, consider that is a continuous data you know without you know breaking that whereas discrete means it is a bucket of data that is being categorized so now how can i how can we tell that whether it is a discrete or continuous so we need to observe the axis here so now this is blue right so blue means discrete again so if i take my sales and drop it here you see here it is if i am it is discrete in nature if i convert it into continuous this is how it is forming but likewise if i go to month here okay and if i make it discrete we are getting month of all the years like january of all the years aggregated at this level february of all the years aggregated at this level and like this so this is buckets of data that is being categorized but if i make it continuous okay so i should uh or here if i go we should get all of the months of this. Now, if I make it discrete here, you will see all the months being, you know, plotted on the axis here. So that is one difference that we need to observe and keep it in mind whenever you are working with discrete and continuous measures or dimensions. And oftentimes we have seen in real time that whenever we want to uh, see the what do you call the textual information of the data? We often go to this and we click on discrete and it will show us the value. Okay, so we are seeing that way also, uh, or we use it that way also. So now we got it. We got sales of each month in discrete. But if I same, if I try to make it continuous, it becomes your chart. Okay, which means it is technically forming an axis here. That is one point we need to form. Whereas when I'm converting this into discrete, it is giving us a textual representation. Okay, so keep this in point whenever you're trying to answer it. And like I said, if I if we don't want to get this measure aggregated, okay, we can always go to analysis and we can uncheck this aggregate measure. These are our individual sales value. These are our individual sales value plotted plotted against each order. Now, if I want to know for which order it is, so I can take my order ID and if I just drag it here. So for each order, how much of sales we made? So it is 0 0.44, 0 0.5. Here it is 1.8, 1.8. So some might have two orders or multiple orders. It depends. Okay. So this is difference between your aggregated and disaggregated measure. If I want to make it some, I think again, go back and click on aggregated. We got this. Okay. Even I can move it to my view to get that aggregated. So for this order, we had 377 sales. But if I again click on this and convert it into this, 
now you are seeing how much of sales we had for each order okay so that way we can work with our aggregations and we can work with your, our discrete and continuous measures so the other thing that we want to i want to show you is you know if at all we want to find out uh, a detailed information about a particular dimension or measure we can always click on that field and we can click on an option called as a describe that will help us in understanding what is the field that it is coming from, what is the database it is coming from, what is the column name and the sample data as well. All of that information we can see here. So sometimes we might be using uh, you know, different name, like say order ID, I'm trying to rename it as order number here for just for our illustration purpose. Now you and me know that this is order number. Assume that you know, someone new has come into the team and they want to, uh, they have found some issue with this order number. Now he's going back to the database to ch check if that particular order is there or not. And he's trying to search with this order number. But because technically we have you know renamed this field, order number will not be present in that table. So we can also go here, check the describe option. Now you will see the actual field name is order ID here. Okay, this is the best place to find out if there are any references or renames, renaming done to your actual field name. Also, the other option would be if I click on this and click on rename, you'll get an arrow mark here which indicates that you know it has been renamed. So you can always click on this arrow mark that will reset it to default name. So this was the default name that this field has so that way also we can find out the information about a particular dimension or this okay so you can also change data type from here that is something that is very important for us this we also seen from data source layer but from here also we can change and we have seen default properties as well and describe option now rename option we have also seen if at all you want to duplicate we can also click on this and it will duplicate this okay so that way the difference between this and this is this you cannot edit but here you can always edit this because it is a duplicated which means you are duplicating the already existing order ID that way you can use so these are the small topics that are important to use your tableau day in and day out okay I saw I thought of covering it in a simple video so yeah that's from my side in this video hope you have enjoyed it if it does don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a